Hello, Danny Blythe from the College of Integrated Chinese Medicine looking at why kidney syndromes are so easy to learn. Remember this is for acupuncture students only, please pause and read this. Functions of the kidneys in traditional Chinese medicine has very little to do with functions in Western medicine and much more to do with the endocrine system. Just a reminder that this, we're not talking about the kidneys as we know them in Western medicine, this is quite a different concept. Functions of the kidney, the most fundamental thing is that they form the root of yin and yang for the rest of the body in the forms of the jing and fluids and the ming men, the fire at the gate of life. Kidneys store jing for birth, growth, development, reproduction and the jing produces marrow which fills the brain and the spinal cord, the bones and helps with blood manufacture. It's the basis of kidney chi and it's the basis of our constitution or resilience. Our Jing starts off as being our, our inheritance account and often gets unfairly accused of being like DNA and it becomes our savings account in that we can add or subtract to it. Whereas our Qi is like our current account which can top up or draw from our savings. In the classics we have that the kidneys store the essence um, they govern pre-heaven, former heaven, hey, before we're born. They are the pre-heaven's root, root of earlier heaven. And they govern the bones and engender the marrow. They also dominate fluids, control the reception of chi, descending of lungs, the kidneys receive the chi. They open to the ear, manifest in the hair, control the two lower orifices, and house the ju, the willpower or drive. We see with the kidneys because they're the basis of yin and yang our basic patterns are kidney yin deficiency and kidney yang deficiency. If the storing blood and producing marrow goes wrong we have kidney jing deficiency. If the fluids aren't controlled and they build up and we get kidney yang deficiency water overflowing which is a mixed condition. If the fluids are deficient the yin is deficient the fluids are deficient we get empty heat building up an empty fire blazing, which is a mixed condition. Kidneys fail to receive the chi as a syndrome and kidney chi not firm, a syndrome relating to the two lower orifices. So that's five empty and two mixed conditions. Now you might be asking where are all the four syndromes of the kidneys? Well, there aren't really. The kidney channel can be affected by things like wind, or blood stagnation, um, but there aren't any full patterns that we're going to learn right now. If kidney yin is deficient, birth growth and development are okay, but reproduction becomes a problem. So we might get fertility problems, um, nocturnal emissions, premature ejaculation. The brain and spinal cord are not nourished, so we can get dizziness, tinnitus, vertigo, poor memory. Bones are not nourished, so we can get a sore achy lower back which is worse in the afternoon and evening or achy bones these underlying symptoms are the main ones here the fluid should be dominated if they're yin deficient then the fluids are deficient so we get dry mouth and throat at night thirst constipation with dry stools dark scanty urine um, because of the ear we get reduced hearing and tinnitus um, because of the ju. We get depression, anxiety, lassitude, inappropriate fear. Night sweats are a key symptom. Now they're actually in um, Chinese, Dao Han, which is robber sweating or thief sweating. So if the yin is deficient, it doesn't root the Wei Qi, which returns into the interior at night. And there's sweating at night, but the, some of the precious yin Qi is lost. So therefore it's called robber sweating. We also see this unrooting in the pulse, in the tongue coating, and in the person themselves, they can be nervy and unsettled. If the yin is deficient, we get a relative excess of yang, which we see as empty heat. So the person seems revved up, restless, twitchy, five palm heat, which is heat in the chest, soles and palms. A malar flush, high heat, feeling of heat in the afternoon, evening, slight anxiety. With kidney yang deficiency, 
we also see reproduction affected with infertility, low sperm count, impotence, premature ejaculation. Um, the bones are also affected. This time we get a lower backache, which is worse when cold and tired and we get cold and weak legs and knees. The fluids don't get properly transformed, so they can um, either be lost as abundant clear urination or they can build up as leg edema and waking up at night to go to the toilet. The two lower orifices are not controlled, so we can get frequent pale urination, nocturia, loose stools, and especially waking up um, first thing in the morning with diarrhea, cockrow diarrhea. In terms of the jur, we see rather than restlessness, we see more apathy and inappropriate fear. If the Ming men becomes weak, we get empty cold symptoms. So feeling cold, key symptom, lethargy, key symptom, cold back and knees, bright white complexion. We also see some spleen, yang deficient symptoms. Remember that the kidneys are the root of the yang for the other organs. So we get poor appetite and loose stools. We compare these two main patterns with yin deficiency, the person's hot, dry and agitated. This is yang deficiency, cold, waterlogged and flat. So with yin deficiency, a male are flush. Yang deficiency, bright white complexion. With yin deficiency, the backache is sore and achy and worse in the afternoon and evening. With kidney yang deficiency, the backache is worse when cold and tired with a cold, weak back and knees. With kidney yin deficiency, fluids are deficient. So urine is scanty and dark, thirst and sips, constipation. Um, dry mouth at throat, uh, dry mouth and throat at night, whereas with yang deficiency there's clear abundant urination, no thirst and the stools tend to be loose, fluids build up as the edema in the legs. In deficiency we get empty heat symptoms, agitation, anxiety, restlessness. With yang deficiency we get empty cold symptoms, tiredness, lethargy, apathy. The indeficiency of these rob sweating and the five palm heat versus yang deficiencies, cold back and knees and feeling chilly. The indeficiency can also affect the marrow with dizziness, tinnitus, vertigo, poor memory, poor hearing, whereas the yang deficiency tends to affect the spleen, so we get poor appetite, loose stools. Qi not firm is a variation of yang deficiency with weak yuan qi, weak kidney qi. Fluids aren't transformed and therefore we get sinking or leaking, which affects urination, the jing, the sperm, and the uterus. So in terms of urination, dribbling, abundant, clear, frequent, weak flow, stop starting, enuresis, nocturia, leaking. With the jing or the sperm, we get nocturnal emissions without dreams, premature ejaculation, or um, spilling over the sperm. With the uterus and vagina, we can get a chronic vaginal discharge, dull and um, odorless prolapse of the uterus and vagina. Remember, this is also um, sinking as well as leaking and the dragging down feeling that comes with prolapse in the lower abdomen or recurrent miscarriage again, leaking. And nocturnal emissions are a symptom that I talked about a lot, um, but you don't actually really see in the clinic. Um, and some have suggested that this is actually um, a, a, another way of expressing excessive masturbation rather than the symptom in its own right. The classics talk about the kidneys governing um, storage. This is expressed in two ways as um, closing and storing and sealing and storing, which you can see in kidney chi not firm. If the kidneys fail to receive the chi, uh, the chi can become stuck in the chest and not descending, and the fluids can become not dominated. So we see symptoms like shortness of breath on exertion, especially difficulty inhaling, that's the key symptom here, rapid weak breathing, chronic cough or asthma, clear urination after an asthma attack. With the fluids, we might get spontaneous sweating, cold limbs after sweating or swelling of the face. Receiving of the chi is like absorption, receiving, accepting, intake. 
kidney jing deficiency is deeper than kidney yin deficiency and here growth and development may be affected as well as reproduction. We may be born jing deficient in which case there'll be growth and development problems, premature aging and a weak constitution or it may come on later naturally as we age or from overdoing it. The Jing as the Yuan Qi acts as a catalyst for Qi and blood production so generalized deficiency can be an aspect of um, Jing deficiency and there are always kidney deficient symptoms. In children we might get poor bone development, late closure of the fontanelles, deafness, frequent or chronic illness. With adults we might see weakness of sexual activity, poor function, infertility, impotence, primary amenorrhea or a very late onset of periods, um, low sperm count, impotence, premature ejaculation. In terms of the brain and the marrow we might see poor mental development um, in children or we might get poor memory or decreased mental sharpness or absent-mindedness later on in life. In terms of the bones um, in children we might get poor bone development and late closure. In adults we might get osteoporosis or loose teeth. As I said general poor health, low stamina, frequent illnesses. So mild Jing deficiency might manifest as infertility, it might manifest as premature aging, so greying, balding or generally just looking old, um, premature menopause, the development stages may, may just come earlier. If it's more severe we might get underdeveloped secondary sexual characteristics or poor growth and development or learning difficulties and if it's very severe then lifespan becomes greatly reduced, um, often puberty doesn't happen or the reproductive org organs aren't properly developed. If we have kidney yang deficiency the fluids aren't dominated, if these fluids build up and become a problem in their own right then we call it water overflowing. Remember that the kidneys are the basis for yang of the other organs so fluids can build up, we get pitting edema in the legs and ankles, key symptom. Depending on which other organ affected we can get with the spleen, fullness and distension of the abdomen, with the heart, palpitations, breathlessness, cold hands, or with the lungs, and remember that the lungs, the lung qi deficiency is lung yang deficiency, we get thin, watery, frothy sputum, cough, asthma, breathlessness, non-exertion. Characteristics of fire, upward direction, injures blood and yin, depletes qi, disturbs the shen and makes the blood reckless. Kidney yin is deficient, this can progress and become empty heat. If the empty heat becomes a full condition that needs clearing we call it empty fire blazing. So we get injury to blood and yin, constipations, dry stools, dark urine. We get disturbed shen, so insomnia, mental restlessness, excessive libido, vivid dreams and the night sweats become more severe. We also make the blood reckless, we get a heat um, fire causing blood in the urine. Other key symptoms are low-grade fever, afternoon heat, severe dry mouth, dry throat at night. So from basic yang deficiency we get kidney chi not firm affecting the bladder or the uterus. We get kidney failing to receive the chi and a kidney and lung imbalance and we get a build-up of fluid and water overflowing. In terms of kidney yin, kidney jing deficiency is deeper, more severe deficiency and if the empty heat becomes full and needs clearing we call it empty fire blazing. That The kidneys store jing which is like our inheritance and savings account so in terms of etiology uh, anything that really drains from our savings account would deplete our kidneys. So this might be any chronic illness. In, in males, excessive sex, losing the jing. The equivalent in females is childbirth or very heavy periods. The um, periods are made up of blood plus 
Tiangui, which is heavily essence, which comes from our Jing. Old age, as our um, Jing is depleted, our kidneys become deficient. Any sort of overdoing it, so overwork, excessive physical exercise, um, overdoing it mentally or physically, especially during times when the kidneys are especially active, like during puberty or during times of um, big growth or development. Other etiologies, apart from our general ones, for Jing deficiency, it might be constitutional or inherited. This may be um, weak parents or bad luck. Um, kidney yin deficiency, we might get external wind heat um, damaging the body fluids and draining the kidney yin. This doesn't happen so much now because of antibiotics. We don't have long fevers or long-term blood loss and especially period because of the heavenly essence. With empty fire blazing, um, emotional problems and especially because of the kidneys, things around fear and anxiety might increase the amount of um, heat and so combust it into fire. On top of the general kidney etiologies for kidney yang deficiency, a diet that's too cold and raw will affect the spleen yang, which in turn will draw from the kidney yang. Uh, with failing to receive the qi, there might be inherited lung and kidney weakness. This might be a, a weakness from parents having had lung disease. Um, kidney qi not firm with all of those bladder and prolapse problems is very common after childbirth and as the kidneys become um, more depleted as um, ladies age, this can then come up as more of a problem later on in life. And with water overflowing, because the other organs involved of the spleen yang deficiency, heart yang deficiency, or lung qi, which is yang deficiency, this can um, also lead to kidney yang deficiency water overflowing. Treatment principles are very simple. Nourish the kidney jing, we nourish the kidney yin. With the kidney yang, we tonify and warm kidney yang, but also strengthen the ming mem with points like do four and using lots of moxa. With empty fire blazing, we also need to clear the empty fire and pacify the shen. And with kidney chi not firm, as well as tonifying a warm and kidney yang, we need to reinforce and stabilize the kidney chi and possibly raise the chi. With failing kidneys failing to receive the chi as well as tonifying and warming, we need to stimulate the kidneys reception of chi function and we need to descend the lung chi. And with water overflowing, we also need to transform water, clear the full element, and tonify and warm whichever organ is also involved, spleen, lungs, or heart. Patterns for you once more on the key symptoms, kidney yang deficiency, weak cold lower back, weak cold legs and knees, lethargy, feeling cold, lethargy, kidney chi not firm, Get urination weak, leaking or dribbling. Kidneys failing to receive the chi, we get shortness of breath, difficulty inhaling, chronic cough and asthma, and water overflowing, we get pitting, edema of the legs and the ankles. With kidney jing deficiency in children, we get poor growth and development, we get frequent and chronic illness, poor mental development. With adults, we get weak sexual activity or function, weak bones and teeth. With kidney yin deficiency, sore achy lower back, night sweats and a dry mouth and throat at night. And finally, empty fire blazing, insomnia, night sweats, scanty dark or bloody urine, excessive libido, mental restlessness and low grade fever or afternoon fever. That's the kidney syndromes in a nutshell and thank you for listening.